Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video, I'll share with you how you're able to fix any and all types of issues on your Samsung Galaxy device. So that could be if you're having massive battery drain issues, if your phone is slow or sluggish, or if you're having application crashes. Now in today's video, I'll share with you eight different steps that you're able to take, going from the most common sense and easiest, all the way down to the very last resort of factory data reset. Now the two steps right before factory data reset is maybe something that you've never done before, but it's what I would do as an expert of a Samsung phone where I'd be able to easily pinpoint any types of problems with your phone. So you might find yourself doing one, two, or three of these things to get your phone all the way back up to healthy with zero issues. And also if you have no issues, you can still do a few of these things and I'll let you know which ones to do to make sure that it always stays healthy and fast. Now starting this video off with the most common sense and the easiest easiest is just simply restart your phone. Now you can do this just by going over into your little power menu right there. Unless if you have it still set up on your side key, you can press and hold on your side key, take you to your power menu and hit on restart. Now you'll be surprised on how many people you'll run into that has never turned off or restarted their phone since the day they bought it. Maybe their phone even went all the way down to zero, then they started charging it again. And maybe that was the only way that their phone turned off. Now, there's another way that you can get this done without you having to physically restart your phone, which is highly suggested to do at least once a week. You have to think of this thing as a computer or a TV, and if you have your computer or TV on 24-7, seven days a week for the full entire month or multiple months, you know you're gonna run into some problems. More than likely, you guys probably turn it off every single day. Your smartphone is definitely one that you wanna do at least once or twice a week, and you can actually have it done automatically for you just by going inside of your settings. And then inside of your settings, you're going to go down to where you see your device care. And then inside of device care, you just want to find auto optimization. Now, if yours is not sitting in this menu, all you have to do is just go to your settings and hit search and search for auto optimization. So what will happen is that it'll do a auto restart and you can set it when you want it to happen. So mine is actually set up for Wednesday and also Saturday at 3 a.m. So mine restarts twice a week. So I never run into any problems. Now for step number two, we'll head right back inside of device care because what you're able to do is you can clear the cache and a whole bunch of stuff just running on your phone. So if you wanna do this one, you can do this one, you know, once a day or twice a day, however many times you wanna do it. You just go inside of your device care and it'll let you know if you are sitting great. Uh, pretty much what you can do is you can go to like memory and inside of memory, what you can do is you can hit clean now. So it's just gonna get rid of a few things just running in the background. Again, letting your phone run smooth. Now there's actually a widget for this. You can just add this widget to your home screen, tap it, and it'll do the cleaning for you. So this way you don't have a bunch of things just running in the background. So that is the first two steps that you're able to take to get your phone running smooth and fast. Step number three is just to make sure that everything is up to date, meaning your phone, every application on the Play Store, and also the Galaxy Store. Because what happens is that if you're somebody who turns off your auto update of your phone, you might be running into a little bit of problem where there is some optimization and stability issues on your phone that is actually fixed every single month with security updates. So you just go inside of your settings, you go to the very bottom, and this is where you go to software update, and you go to download and install. So again, if you're running into any problems, take a look at this one because normally what happens is that you'll have stability and optimization when it comes down to your device. Now, maybe you have problems with specific applications. This could be, you know, battery drain, sluggishness of applications, or even some of the application crashes. Just make sure that you have the latest version from the Play Store and the Galaxy Store. So inside of the Play Store, you can go to apps, you go on the very top, you head inside of your manage apps and device, and this is where you can see if you have any updates. And honestly, I updated all applications a little bit earlier today, and it looks as if there's a few more for me to do a little bit of an update. So this way, if there's any problems with these apps, it's just right there. But also don't forget to take a look at your Galaxy Store because you might have quite a few applications from the Galaxy Store that might also have applications. So when you go inside of the Galaxy Store, head over to your menu, go to updates, and this is where you, you might have a few different updates right there. So automatic verification right there. There's an update for auto blocker. Uh, so there's a few things, you know, coming from Samsung One UI 6.1.1. So there you go. So now that you've made sure that your phone has been restarted, you have also uh, done device care. So you're cleaning a few things running in the background. You made sure your phone and applications are up to date. Uh, the next thing that you're able to do is a per application process, meaning 
if you know for a fact that maybe your Samsung home is having a problem or your Google Messages is having a problem or Gallery is having a problem, any specific application, you can actually just clear the cache and the data and have it pretty much start over. So rather than you taking the application completely off your phone, you can just clear the cache and the data. So first off, let me show you on this phone here. You can see that I have applications here. I got a couple folders. I got a widget, another widget, and that's how this home screen right here is set up. So if you think you have a problem with the home screen, you go inside of your settings of the home screen. As you scroll down, you go to about home screen. And then on the very top right hand side, you go to the information. So pretty much if you look at any other application, it's actually faster and I'll show you in just one second, but you want to get to the app info of this application. This is where you go to the storage and then you just go to clear cache and clear data. Pretty much all you're doing is just resetting that application. If it's an application that has a bunch of stuff in it, like the gallery, all your pictures will still be there. If you do it with your messages, all the messages will still be there, but it's all the small changes that you do that it'll just reset it back to normal. So as you can see, my Samsung One UI Home went back to stock out of the box. If you remember, this weather widget was actually towards the top. If you remember, my Google search bar was smaller. I had another app here. I had a widget here and a widget here. So pretty much if there was a problem with my, my home, it has now been pretty much back to factory without having to delete and reinstall the application. Now let's do the exact same thing with messages. You can see that, I, I mean, there's really only one message here, uh, but I'm gonna show you that it's not going to delete it. But let me show you how my keyboard is also kind of set up here as well. So with my keyboard, you can see that I have input here and not my mic. You can see that I have one, two, three, four, five, six different icons there. I'm just gonna go inside of my Samsung keyboard. I'm gonna go to about Samsung keyboard. I'm gonna go to that little I. Here we go, here is the uh, information for my keyboard. I'm gonna go inside of storage, clear the cache, clear the data, pretty much just restarting my keyboard back to where it was originally. So what'll happen is I'm gonna close out, go back in, open this up. You can see now I'm back to my mic. It's not the input. You can see that I have one, two, three, four, five icons there, that's it. If you remember, I actually had another one that was sitting up here because I had six sitting there, another one that was right next to the settings. So if you feel like your keyboard is having problems, that is exactly what you do. Now, when it comes down to your messages, uh, what I can do is I can clear the cache and the data here. This one's actually a lot easier. I press and hold on the icon. So if you have an application that you think is a, has an issue, all you do is you press and hold, you tap on that little I, and now you're here already. You go to that storage, clear the cache, clear the data. So pretty much all that I'm doing here is I'm just restarting it right back to where it was at the very beginning, you know, out of the box. If there was any changes I did or updates to the application, this pretty much kind of gets rid of it. What you'll be able to notice is that this is having, again, my normal conversation. So this is the one conversation I had, but if you made any changes to the application, that is what you would have to change back. So that was step four of going to a particular application where you think that there is problems being caused from it. That's where you clear the cache and the data. But step five is that if you're still having that problem, all you'd have to do is just uh, delete that application and then reinstall it and make sure it's from the Play Store or the Galaxy Store and not being sideloaded from somewhere else. And maybe if you completely got rid of the application and you brought it back, maybe it'll hopefully be fixed at that point. Now going to the advanced portions, this is really the nitty gritty of what is really fixing your devices rather than just the small, simple, easy beginner type of stuff, the common sense type of things that you would think of. This one is my favorite that I'm showing you right now. This is what you can do after every single massive update you do to your phone. So when you go from Samsung One UI 6.1, up to Samsung One UI 7, if you're finding any problems with battery drain or anything like that, this is the one that you want to do. And I've actually done this today just to make sure that my phone is good. What you wanna do is you will clear the cache and partition of your phone. This is getting rid of all of the stuff in the void sitting there in between updates. So what you wanna do is you wanna go and turn off the phone. So you're not just going to restart your phone, you will turn off the phone. Now, once it has been turned off, this is where you want to press and hold your side key and the volume up. So I am pressing the side key and volume up. I'm going to keep pressing it all the way up until you see a menu that almost looks a little scary, but it's not. 
All this is, is allowing you to either reboot your system now, and you're able to toggle through this going up and down with your volume keys. Your side key is the confirm or the enter key. So here's your reboot. If you just want to restart your phone, uh, apply update from uh, ADB. This is where you can apply an update from an uh, SD card. This is where you can wipe data or factory reset your phone. Uh, you can also do this, do this inside of your phone through the settings, but this is one way that you can actually find it as well. This is where you find wipe cache partition. And then pretty much on the very bottom, this is where you have power off. So this wipe cache partition, this is the one that you wanna do after any major update or after let's say five regular monthly updates, you might wanna do this as well. So once you go to wipe cache partition, you hit on the enter button, then you go down and you hit on yes. Then it already cleared it. Now you just go to reboot system now. And that is it. It looks scary but it is not. All you're doing is getting rid of all of that cache, all of that little stored small little data that's stuck in the void that can cause issues between updates that didn't really get off your phone and now it's uh, fighting with something else, you know, fighting with the newest updates. And this is one of those things that you can do with your phone monthly. You can do it uh, probably every five months, every six months. Pretty much it's one of those things where if you update your phone and then you notice it gets slow or sluggish or you're having any type of problems, the wipe cache partition is one of those that I go to and resort to first, even though it's underneath the category of kind of like an expert move to fix a phone. And now for step seven. Now this one is the step right before the last resort, which is factory data reset. This step seven is called safe mode. So you're putting your phone into safe mode. Pretty much it only runs the pre-installed applications on your phone because if you've ever gotten a phone brand new out of the box, you never have any types of problems. You may actually run into battery drain on day one and that is because all of your applications are being downloaded. You're using it. You're having fun with the cameras. Everything is syncing. Your battery will go down and then after you already have everything sitting there for a couple days, it goes right back to normal and you're not gonna run into that massive battery drain on day one setting up your phone. So what happens is that you may download an application, it has a problem, maybe your phone has a monthly update, that application is not ready for that monthly update, and you're gonna probably run into some problems. So if you run into massive battery drain, your phone is sluggish or slow, application crashes, you don't know where it is coming from, this is all you have to do. What you wanna do is just turn off your phone. So once you power off the phone, if you remember from the step before, we did volume up and the side key. Now you do the volume down and side key. So safe mode is those two buttons right next to each other. So you press and hold on the side key. You press and hold on volume down at the exact same time. And what'll happen is once your phone turns on, you let go of your side key, you keep holding the volume down and that will put your phone into safe mode. Now again, it's only running the pre-installed applications. So this way you know for a fact that if your phone is running smooth, you have zero issues. It is a application somewhere that is causing the problem. So let me get this thing unlocked. So with this, you're able to see that a lot of stuff is actually grayed out. So if I take a look at this one, they are all grayed out. None of them is uh, you know, running. I have only my files, I have the Play Store, even the calculator and calendar is all you know, taken off. YouTube was already pre-installed. You have your email, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. So some of these were already pre-installed. If you take a look at your application tray, there's really not much that you can do. You can even still just run your phone in safe mode if you want to, to save a little bit of battery life. If you're kind of running down and you want to take some pictures, you can still go inside of your camera and take some pictures. It'll save inside of your gallery and such. You can see that you're inside of safe mode right there. So again, when you take a look at your phone, you find that there is no issues. You can also see that some of my widgets are actually gone as well too. So I, I did have notes right here. Um, and then I think I had a couple other ones here. I think I had Samsung health sitting there and I had my music playing music player sitting there and that's because it was YouTube music. So even my widgets were turned off right here. You'll also notice that your phone is inside of airplane mode. You can actually just turn off airplane mode, have your mobile data come back on. So this way you can have a few applications running if you need to post something somewhere or do an email. But again, you're very limited on what your phone is really able to do. So if you're finding that your phone is running fine here, then you know it's one of these other applications and hopefully you'll be able to kind of target which one you think it is, just uninstall those applications 
And then again, run your phone for a while. And if you run into no problems after deleting a few apps, you know that it was one of those. So that is where you're able to have a bunch of help when it comes down to safe mode. So what's cool is that you can actually get out of safe mode really quick. You can just go right here, tap there, and it's going to turn off safe mode. It's gonna restart your phone, turn it right back on, and then you have everything running again. So again, that is the step right before factory data reset. And really when it comes down to factory data reset, I don't have to really show it on my phone because I have no problems. I don't wanna restart my phone. This is just where you wanna make sure you have everything backed up. Make sure that your Google is all backed up, your Samsung is all backed up, your contacts, your pictures, all of that good stuff. If everything is already backed up, then all you have to do is just factory data, reset your phone, log back in with all of your accounts, and then you're go, you know, good to go just out of the box again. Sometimes it's a little frustrating and you might not want to do that. That's why it's called the last resort. And hopefully one of the other seven steps you can do will actually fix your problem. But at least you know that you have your phone that is fixed from the very get-go and you can start over and you can really watch to see what you're downloading and if anything comes awry as you are setting up your phone again. Now there are two ways of doing a factory data reset on your Samsung phone. The first way you actually saw it was when I went into the clearing of the cache partition, which is the volume up and the side key. When you did the volume up and side key, it took you to that little scary menu. It was kind of black. One of those options was factory data reset. You can do it there. Or the other quick way you can do it is just by going inside of your settings, going to the very top, uh, and then you can search for, let's just say the word factory. When you type in factory, you see factory data reset. You go to the very bottom, you tap there, and then you just go and you reset your phone. So in this way, you'd be able to 100% fix any type of problems because your phone out of the box don't have any type of issues. So hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. If you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.